Welcome to the continuation of my Balthier fan art classes on Outgang.studio. As you can see since last class, I've done quite a lot of work to the character within Blender. And today we're going to talk about all of that. Those who know me a little bit know that I absolutely love to work on workflows, meaning that I like to develop them, I like to perfect them, and I like to find better ways of doing things. That really has been my career so far, to be honest, as a character artist working in video games. And even now that I work on my own for Outgang, I still do that. I still worry about workflow and I always worry about finding better ways of creating details and of creating characters. Basically, as I was developing this character, I realized that there were a few things that were really missing from my workflow. One was that I felt that I needed to revamp my whole workflow when it comes to high-res garments out of Marvelous Designer, including how to create some really nice borders with UVs for anything that is cloth that is spit out of Marvelous Designer. And out of that came the Algang cloth nodes, which I have used extensively on this particular project. As I'm zooming in here to the laces that Balthier has on his shirt, you can actually see that these laces, the thickness of the laces has some UVs and we have the continuation of the texture that is on the laces, on the borders of the UVs. Now this might seem like a minor thing, but it's actually quite hard to get that with default tools. But out of that came the Algang cloth nodes for Blender. And if you haven't seen these classes, they are within the Blender classes on Algang.studio. So that's one of the things that had been keeping me busy at the start of this year to really get that going. The next thing that I figured out was that I was actually missing some really good tools to generate some really awesome textiles. And out of that came out the Algang textile generator, which I have released just a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a YouTube video on that. And uh, it is a fully procedural tool that is in the form of an SBS AR file that can be loaded through a variety of different softwares, including Blender, Unreal, or my preferred way of using it, which is to load it through Substance Player, which is a free tool, by the way, not to be confused with Substance Painter. The Outgang Textile Generator simply allows us to create different textiles by specifying color, weave type, thread density, and a whole bunch of other details in there to really create some really, really awesome textiles. And I've used the Outgang Textile Generator extensively on this particular project, not only for the laces here, for the kind of linen that we have here behind the shirt, for the silk that Balthier has on his shirt right here, also for the pants, as you can see here. And finally, I've also used the Algang textile generator to create the shoes here and the kind of shin guards that Balthier has around his legs. The mesh itself is extremely simple. There's really nothing to it. In fact, I can actually show you right now what it actually looks like. I have subdivision here. I have displacement map. If I turn off all of these things and you look at the geometry, you can see that it is extremely simple geometry, as you can see. So all the details that you're seeing is all created through shader and is all created through displacement. So I will talk extensively about how I have done that for the shin guards and the shoes. We'll talk about the pants, of course. We'll talk about the shirt, how I have gotten that anisotropic look to the shirt and so much more than that. So this class has been a long time in the making, I know, and I do want to apologize for that, but I think that it's for good reasons because the tools that I have developed along the way, I think are extremely powerful, extremely easy to use, and they're available to you now as much as they are available to me. This class is broken into three different chapters. During the first chapter, we'll do an overview of the Balthier project. And also I'll give you an overview of the Blender scene itself where I'll share information related to poly counts, light setup, and a few workflow tips along the way. Chapter two will be an in-depth shader breakdown. So we're gonna break down all of the shaders that I have created for this scene, including the shirt, the pants, the shin guards, and the hair. Chapter three will be focused on textiles. And there I will present to you the two approaches that we can use to use the Algang textile generator in Blender. The first one being to go through Substance Player, and the second one to go through a Substance 3D add-on. So which one should you use on your side? We'll talk about things such as sRGB color space, the extensions that are worth to use on your textures that you export, and we'll also talk about performance. Don't forget to check out the chapters that are included with this particular class if you're looking to jump ahead to a particular section of it. It's gonna be an interesting one.
If you're watching the classes and not getting that studio linearly, the class before this one will be a class where we will have done a first sculpting pass on these pants. And I mentioned at the end of that class that the next class would be one where we would do a quick texturing pass on these pants in preparation for our last sculpting pass. That content is still coming to Agangna Studio and will very, very likely be the next classes that I will post after this one. So if you're laser focused on the continuation of these pants and you're not interested in this particular class, then jump ahead to the next class in these series.